Times. Still shame on me. All right, let's finish up this mop-up operation. You stop dodging all the time. You're only a gem, and you don't even have a name tag. You obviously have no chance. What have we got here? Lots of ground Gundams. Surprise! I'm sure they feel more gun tanks for some strange reason. Nice shot. I'll give that to you. Shot in the back. Shot in the back and hit in the front. Well, not a good time for me. There we go. Hey, 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 now wait a minute. Just because I turned my back for like one second. Wow, I'm not sure who hit me first. My partner? I think I've done that. Ow! Piss. Oh, nice. Barely nicked him with it, but it worked. Wow, that slowdown is just amazing. I don't know what that is. That's a new one, too. Usually it just kind of, like, glitch slows down, but that was a full-on stop. Well, so much for my 80-something uh, evade rate streak. All right, what did that do for me? Not much. There's a hard mission here. Texas Colony. Ah, Gundam destroyed. Yeah, I'm sure that'll happen. Why not? Uh, let's see, if memory serves, this should be Makuve's last mission. I think I think I could go along for that. Why not? What'll he take? I don't know, should we take the Shark Custom Za or uh, Zaku 2? Yeah, let's do it. I'm trying to avoid my uh, Federation football last time was using a lot of my decent mobile suits on crap missions when Boy, I really a tricky game of strategy. Yeah, there's Makuve. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. I think I've only managed this mission once to like destroy our but as you can see, sorry Dom. As you can see, his armor absolutely just bitching. Ow! Reach around your shoulders there, bro. You can't hit me. Wow. They do a crap to Hey, Makuve. Show up here. Ah, there's the guy, and I hear it. There he is. Wow! You! There it is! There it is! Yes, I'm afraid to go near him because look at that. I've hit him like three times. You don't expect your enemy to fight fair and square. Now, according to the story, there should be a shit ton of landmines or aerial mines just sitting about that he runs into. Just entirely. Ooh, that was close. Man, <laughs> accuracy's not going to be the greatest in this one. There we go. Taking a sliver of his health off. There it is. God damn. All right. Can I get some named mobile suits out here, please? As a man, I have to prove myself. Please do. Come on. Ugh, I hate oh, having this thing run. Yes. Because I mean, look at this. There's no effing way. God! No! God! Why did I get cocky? Holy crap! Oh, that's a rare scene. Holy crap! You fucker! Wow! And that, uh, yes, that, that is a perfect example of why Armoro is so broken. And I missed that story mission entirely. Fantastic! Hell. Yeah, that's right, Loken Har, badass on camera. <laughs> oh, wow. Ugh. All right, then. Let's be only doing that.
<sighs> it must be nice to have plot armor. Hell, see a bunch of targets just standing here waiting to die. <laughs> Holy crap. They really, really don't like me. Ugh. Nope. That lag time, I swear. Okay, I'll get it. Whoop. Did he destroy his part? Come on. Let's go. Nice shoot. Alright, come on. Oh. I gave quite a bit of distance with that shot. Why are you all armed with that stupid rocket launcher? Did you know you'll never really hit shit with it? Unless I'm stupid. Ah, gun tank. There's a more dangerous foe right there. As just evident by me. Just like, uh, oh, what was his name for me? Aiden MST. Norris, yes. Commander, Colonel, whatever his name, Norris, in the Goof Custom. The soldier's true duty is to finish the battle, even, even if it costs his life, it doesn't matter, as long as the mission is finished. I'll take a hit for that. There we go, there's this typical slowdown I'm used to. Right. What do you got? Just a beam can? No, we got a more. Ha! It's not often I catch them with that freaking move. Ow, ow, piss! Whoa. You guys are getting serious. Woo! Got him in the air. Who's that other one at? Shooting at me in the back, eh? Yeah, get away from me with those rockets. No! Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> oh my god. I have one good mission so far, and I sucked very badly at the rest of it. Hey, piss off. It's my partner. All right, almost got this. Yeah, it sucks to have shell weapon types, doesn't it? Oh, God. Move. Move. Ah, he's sticking with it. There we go. Nice job, partner. Wow, 26 accuracy. Nice evade rate, though. Alright, did it change anything? No, not really. So let's finish up the ground missions here. Enemy battle strength is zero. Big Zom destroyed. Escort the Big Zom during a combat test under gravitational forces. Personally, I think the thing would collapse in on itself just out of sheer weight. Uh, hmm. I know. The Gog! No, God, no. Use the Sucker 2. What else do we got? Mostly crap. A couple guyans. I should say those from space combat, though. Hmm, I wonder. Dare I do it? This couldn't possibly have dramatic consequences. 
Honestly, Big Zam can take care of most of the things that come at it. And as usual, it is very bad for friendly fire, so avoid it if you can. Because if he doesn't hit you with that beam spray all around him, the 360 shot, basically, he'll probably nail you with his feet and hope to God he doesn't hit you with that part of him that kills. Another thing, if you accidentally shoot him, or if you notice how the gems are shooting him, when they actually hit him, there's like a small scattering effect. That would probably be the meaning of his attempt at the eye field that he had. There we got stupid pieces to move. There we go. Yeah, this is bad. I like the ground gem, or the uh, space gem better on the ground, actually. It's not quite as uh, much of a death trap. What the hell? He's standing on top of it. There we go, that little scattering effect. That's gotta be the anti beam. Oh, I feel that thing, yes. Yeah, look at that. I did not. See, the shield should be facing that side. You think it would take the blunt of a hit, but it's all a chance. I can't remember if they fixed that in um, uh, Counters in Space or not. Another thing, he likes to hit you with that cannon if you're fighting the enemy. He's just aiming right for them. Oh god, I dodged straight into that. And it will be a one hit KO if you're not careful. That's killed me on more than one occasion. There we go. Squish. <laughs> it, it just looks like it would fall apart. Maybe under the water, but then what would be the point of it? Why give it legs like that? It's sad that my best accuracy so far, I think, has been with the gem. Why? Alright, plenty of missions in here. Attack enemy units. Yeah, let's try and use the Zong here. With no legs, it should do fine, right? Uh, what we got? Dom's still kind of broken. Guff's in pretty good shape. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Zucker 2 out. We haven't used that in a while. It's the missile pod selection. We'll give our partner the three-star version. This one Go for it. <sighs> Been a nice day off. Didn't have to work on uh, the day after uh, New Year, so it's always a nice little bonus. It's a nice federal holiday. No damage not down there. Gun tank, you could hurt quite a bit. Another thing about progressing further into the story for either campaign is you'll notice that mobile suits are hitting a lot harder than they should normally be. Like a, uh, a ground gem that you f I fight at the beginning of the Xeon campaign will be weaker than one I fight at the end of the campaign. I mean, granted, they're the same mobile suit, but they also have the, you know, the tuned versions themselves. So you gotta take that into account as well. Moral of the story, don't get too cocky, as I've shown, this could be your biggest downfall. Then again, I've gotten really cocky with some mobile suits that really wouldn't think to take in the battle, and one. The ball, for example. Oh, oh. Wow. Shoot me. Barely caught in the bottom of my foot. Cheap mother. Oh, they're really coming out of the woodwork. 
Oh my god, that is cheap. Okay. Damn, I missed. This could be a difficult mission. Well, there's a gun tank somewhere. There's a gun tank. Probably a gun tank, though. In my luck. Come on, get up. Yep, it's a gun tank, all right. Ah, piss. Now, the tracking, like the little caution sign, that doesn't always show up for the gun tank. Because remember, it can actually hit from weird angles. Like that. My partner's dead. So shall I be. Ooh, that hurt. Fuck you! Ah, piss. That gun tank, man. Get in combination with another mobile suit and actually make it an aggressive type. I thought about cutting out a lot of these, like, losses and such, but eh. One, too much work on my part to really care for it. It's just a loss on my side. Let's do something else. Destroy the two's crap. We got quite a few space ones. Eh, we'll use a two star. We'll give you. Or is it one star? Yeah, there it is. That'll work. Hopefully this isn't as bad as that destroy 50 ball type units. She got her shield. He's in the corner, get him! <laughs> nice, there we go. That's teamwork. Come on, partner. There you go. Coming to your death, eh? Hmm. Hit. Ah, that's why. Motherfucking gun tank. Lunar 2 terrain has some problems that really affect how well they do against the gun tank. Just the drops and stuff like that. Anything that can make your mobile suit stun for a second. Like that falling stun. Get on my way, partner. Nice shot. Another gun tank. Definitely recommend focusing on gun tanks. They are the cheapest. Because the AI is fucking deadly. Right? Man, they have a shit ton of armor. Did you fucking die already? There we go. Partner for the win. I don't know which design is worse. I used to think that this design was probably the crappiest of the gun tanks. There are some Kai versions that are uh, looking a little bit better. But uh, <coughs> the one in... Oh, what is it? Uh, you know, I can't remember the name of that gun in series. It was, not, it was supposed to be a series, but it was a movie. It was made into a really, really shitty movie. <laughs> that basically ripped... Ah, fuck you. That terrain. Uh... What the name? Crossbone Vanguard. Uh, not the pirate one. God, what is the name of that fucking series? It's gonna piss me off. I can see the mobile suit in my head. Formula. It's the Formula Mobile Suit series. Uh, F91? Is that the name of it? Gundam F91? I think the movie or whatever it was? Yeah, that had been. But the gun tank from that. The one that's in the museum. Wow, that looks really bad. I mean, 
the whole transforming tank thing just it was cool in robot jocks and that was about the one time it was cool if it's a tank it's a tank it's fine Yes, he did. Which means that I may not survive this. Or maybe not. <laughs> Alright, I got one. And I'm out of ammo. Shit. Ah, I knew it was going to happen eventually. Wow, two missions failed in a row. What the hell killed me? Is it a gun cannon or a gun tank? Gun cannon. Wow, and I had better evade than usual. Well, that goes to show you that they're using probably tuned units. Wow, just fail on my part. Okay, well, we'll... Oops, let me do that. We'll go ahead and uh, <laughs> try ourselves another mission here. Uh, during our testing of our new mobile armor, Bra Bro. Keep under fire, destroy the enemy, and protect the Bra Bro. Crappy, crappy. Gun cannon! And uh, let you use... Uh, the ball. <laughs> Yeah, why not? You, you can use the, the three-star ball. You, you, that's not a suicide mission whatsoever. All right, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Ah, yeah, that's the bra bro. I always get the bra bro and the elements mixed up. I know they look really different, but for some reason, I can never do this thing. 